Hello and welcome to the most realistic exterminator simulation out there, Vermintide 2 Winds of Magic. The brand new content added in this expansion takes the already great base game of Vermintide 2 and brings the entire experience full circle with the inclusion of the new endgame mastery system that really elevates the game to a whole other level thanks to its seamless integration with the awesome new Winds of Magic weave maps. Remember Vanilla Diablo 3 getting Reaper of Souls? Well, this gave me the exact same vibes as that because I had a similar revelation with Winds of Magic where I didn't really know what was missing from the endgame for me until the expansion rolled around which made me realize exactly what I wanted, and that was variety, unpredictability, and more flexibility with the RPG elements. Now, before overloading you with all the new changes to hero progression and fusion in the mastery system, I have to try and prove what I stated in the video title and explain why exactly I think this is the perfect time to either jump into Vermintide 2 for the first time, or hop back in if you haven't played in a while, because yes, Winds of Magic is that good. While this endgame content just added is locked behind the brand new Dark Omens adventure map that takes place after the main campaign, this new multifaceted endgame is perfect for satisfying both types of players, one of which will want to grind out better loot by tackling the main levels on higher difficulties, and the other can now dive into the more condensed and nuanced levels added with Winds of Magic. Again, going back to what Reaper of Souls did for Vanilla Diablo 3 by adding in the highly replayable adventure mode in Nephilim Rifts, which completely altered its endgame progression, this new Winds of Magic expansion does something similar and gives you tons of hyper-focused quick-fire shots of Vermintide 2 that shake up the core gameplay by injecting unique modifiers into each of these new levels, which there are actually quite a lot of since there are remixed sections of older maps. This helps to give this whole new way to play some roguelite style vibes I felt, where they were just short enough, random enough, and challenging enough to make it hard to not say, okay, just one more level, which is something I never quite felt from the longer core levels that were quite enjoyable, but sometimes taxing. The design team over at Fat Shark really nailed the optimal balance with how long these take to complete, and having every map end in a cool arena style showdown, kind of like a little horde mode, really provides the perfect end cap to each of these micro adventures you go on with your team. They worth the thing. Hang on. Trolls are slow and stupid. Keep moving and it'll not last the fall. If I still have your attention up to this point, let's now talk about the brand new hero progression system added with Winds of Magic. This new mastery and infusion system is completely separate from your standard character progression, which makes it a great opportunity to roll a different hero once you hit this new content, but definitely not required. This system all revolves around gathering essence in the new weave levels to level up your player masteries, infuse your weapons, and unlock new class abilities. Although at first glance you might think this looks somewhat similar to the basic gear progression repackaged in a different way, the more you unlock and really play around with this new system, the more you realize how much more flexibility you have over your hero's build, which is no longer tied to randomized loot drops or the crafting system. This allows you to add the exact stats you want from an increasing pool of unlocks that allow you to easily fine-tune your loadout. This honestly made me much more interested in my character stats, and I really felt far more attached to this new progression system, as opposed to simply equipping whatever gear has the highest power level. Overall, I really like this new system because it rewards you a steady permanent player progression while taking out much of the element of chance, which is exactly the kind of thing I prefer from endgame content. The great thing about all this new stuff is that, hey, if you prefer the normal gear treadmill of the base game, perfect. This not only is still there for you, it now even has a higher difficulty mode called Cataclysm, a new enemy faction called Beastmen, and each hero can wield a brand new weapon type to further incentivize repeat playthroughs of the older maps. I always like having choice when logging into an online game like this where I have multiple avenues of progression instead of being funneled into the same thing over and over, and in this regard, Winds of Magic gives both new and old players multiple rewarding things to strive for. I really believe that unique modifiers and randomized elements in games like this is one of the most important aspects for nailing a rewarding endgame, which is honestly probably why I'm so fascinated with the roguelike, roguelite genre here on the channel. Combining the interesting Winds of Magic weave modifiers with the already unpredictable nature of the AI spawning system in this game really makes the entire package really click into place for me since it further expands Vermintide 2's element of spontaneity. Let's do it. 
If you like the style of content I do here, consider subscribing, clicking that little bell icon if you already are, and following me on Twitter at BoomstickAlex to keep up to date on my often trivial thoughts on gaming. If you want to go a little further and show you appreciate the work I put into my videos, the YouTube member system and Patreon are a great way to show you support Boomstick Gaming, just like these awesome top supporters who helped to directly fund it. Also, if you want to know a little bit more about Vermintide 2, I have a link to the game's page in the video description, and you can get into Winds of Magic right now on PC, with the Xbox One and PS4 versions hopefully coming out sooner rather than later. As always, this has been Alex, and help me in controlling this infestation by getting your rodents spayed or neutered. Thanks for watching.